OK, so now we're going to draw our starburst. I just did a Control-0, it would be Command-0 on your Mac, to bring my page up. And I'm going to make another guide. So I'm going to go with the pen tool. Let me take off my fill here. And I'm going to start above the circle and on the guide and make a straight line. I'm holding down my shift key so that'll be perfectly straight. And you can see I've got a straight line. This anchor point is selected. This one is not. So I'm going to select the whole stroke that I put here and go to my rotate tool. And do you see my rotation point is here? in the center. The default for any of the transformation tools um, is center for the rotation point. So I'm going to move that rotation point down here. There we go. And you see it's down here now. And I'll come back here to the rotation tool. And I'm going to Alt-click right on that intersection there. And I'm going to have this rotate 30 degrees. And let me preview it so that I know it's going right. There it goes. And I'm going to say OK. So now I've got this line coming at a 30 degree angle. And I'm going to go to View and Guides and Make Guides and just test, make sure it's locked. OK, so now I will go with my pen tool. And let me zoom in so you can see a little better. And I'm just going to use this to make some straight lines. Click, raise my mouse, click, raise my mouse. And I'm just going to go back and forth on the circle, the circumference of the circle here, and going back and forth. There we go. And maybe one more. And we want to close here. So we only want this on this portion. Again, you'll see that the last anchor point that I put down is the only one that's selected. So I'm going to go to the black selection tool here, deselect, and just mark key over that selection. And I'm going to go to the reflex tool, and the reflex tool, flex tool is here underneath the rotation tool. And I'm going to click on it. And here again, the rotation point is at the center of the object. Now, I can just click here, and it will move it, the rotation point. Or I can click on the rotation point and drag it over. Either one works. So there, I've moved the rotation point to there. And I grab one of these anchor points and I drag to my right. Now before, and get this in position on the other side. Now, before I release my mouse, I'm going to hold down my Alt key. And do you see I get the double arrow, the white and the black, and then I release. OK, so now I'm going to look here at these two points. You can see now that, I'm going to move this, these are two separate points. So I'm going to do a Control Z now to get that back. And I'll deselect. And with my Direct Selection tool, I'm going to go over and select those two anchor points. And I want to make sure they're absolutely on top of each other. So 
One way to do it is to come up here to Object, Path, and Average. And I'll average them both, and that puts them absolutely on top of each other. And then I can go to Object, Path, and Join. Okay, so now that is joined, and I'm going to do a Control zero and bring that back up. Well now I'd like these all around. So what I'm going to do is deselect again and marquee select these and come to my rotation tool and I want it to rotate not up here but around this point here because I want these to go all around the circle. So I'm going to alt click here in the center and I'm going to have these rotate 60 degrees because I want six of them. And make a copy. Oops, what did I do? I'm going to redo that. Oh, I see my rotation point is a little bit off there. Well, it's good for you to see this. So I'm going to move that rotation tool over here, let's see, let's move it there where I want it. Okay, good. Now, come to the rotation tool and I'm going to, I know one keeps wanting to make a copy and that's not what I want. I'm going to deselect here, select it again go to my rotation tool and I'm going to click down here and I'll click and make this 60 degrees and make a copy and do a control D one two three four okay so now that's a nice easy way to join those. Now I'm going to come here and join these. Let's see. First of all, I want to see where they are. Okay, there's that. So I want to join these anchor points right in through there. Do you see? And they're not on top of each other and that's it's kind of a good thing for you to see that they're not on top of each other. I'm even going to zoom in a little more here. And I'm going to select these two anchor points. And I'm going to go Control, Alt, and J. And you do that kind of like if you're playing uh, keys on the piano. And you see it put those two anchor points on top of each other and then a Control, J. So now we're going to come down here and find the next group. I'm using my little hand and here's my next group. So I'm going to marquee select these two points and control alt J and an enter will be the same as OK and Control J. And those are joined. OK, so now I'll go to my next group here. And I'm holding down my spacebar when I do that. And with the direct selection tool, I'm going to select these two anchor points and I'm going to do Control alt j and Enter, and Control j and Enter. Oops, I don't want that. Cancel. How did that happen? Control j I must have hit. Oh, must have joined already. Okay. So, I'm going to come down here to the next group. <clears throat> ah, there they are. Okay. 
and I will select them both and control alt j and enter and control j and enter why is that happening oh gee let's cancel I must be hitting a wrong key okay all right so let's move this down now to the next one all right and here we go so I'm going to average them control alt J and enter and control J there we go I was a little more careful that time all right and last but not least I think we're coming to the end here there we go all right I'm going to go oops I didn't select them okay now I've got them both selected because I know that they're both blue I'm going to average them by doing control alt J and enter and then control J there we go and did you see that it got pointy when I did that all right I think we've got them all all right so what I'm going to do now is select this and go to the swatches here and I'll choose this swatch here okay so we've got a nice radius color and I'd like to come to a gradient here and you see it I opened the gradient panel and the type is linear here but we can make it a radial which is rather pretty so we're going to go on to the next video which will be the snowflake